Hi, I'm Joel Goodman and this is a help video for La Morisque uh, as requested by Linda. I hope this will help you. Uh, so, I've never taught this one, never played it, which is a good way for me to see where the tricky bits are in this piece of music. So, it starts with the right hand on C. And we've got these lovely thirds. Thirds uh, is the name of the interval given to notes that are one, two, three apart. Okay, um, when I learn this piece, the time signature is 2 2, which means two minims in a bar. One, two, one, two. But I like to learn it. In 4-4, four, four. when I'm learning it, I work to the crotchet beat. One, so uh, we're using my drink names: coffee, tea, tea, tea. One, two, three, four. So if I just play from bar six, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and the E starts the next phrase. Okay, so rhythm wise, it's pretty easy. So first finger change, bar three, we play a C and then change to four. I like to put the I like to put the finger four on the C as it's pressed down. So I'll play. Or not? No, actually I don't. I don't. I'm sorry. I, I just get there very quickly. You should practice that. One to four. We jump back up. And that's quite tricky. The stretch of a sixth, one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, most likely with fingers one and four. So we've just played B and D. Okay, let's look at the other hand. So C and G to start. We're on bar 12, we play a G, and we 
on the second G you want to change to finger five to get a bit of stretch. Okay, and I've just gone to bar 16B because once again we don't need to play the repeats in the grade. So I'm going to look at putting this bit hands together to begin with from 6, 7, 8, 9, bar 9, which is the second time repeat. Oh, I didn't get, didn't get to the D. I stretched because I was looking at the right hand uh, and it I, you know, just went wrong. Now, both hands change position. Okay, I'll just do that section again. Change 
position, change position. should give you a, a little bit of a start on how to get the basics of the piece going and then with your teacher uh, you can add the dynamics, the articulation, improve the tempo because I probably played that perhaps a little slow uh, and then you will have your piece ready for your grade and I hope you uh, prepare well for your grade and let me know how you're getting on down below. Thanks very much.